I'm sharing with you now one of my great fantasies. Um, it's not a very exciting fantasy, but if I were in charge of all the creditors, I would require that every syllabus in the country include this chart. Most syllabi now are required to list the key learning outcomes of the course, and that's what it's in the first column. But I'd like to see it expanded into a three column chart that says, not only this is what you're going to learn, here's how you're going to learn it, meaning this is the classwork, homework, projects, whatever that you're going to be doing that will help you develop this skill or this capacity. And then the third column is, this is going to how you're going to show me that you've learned it, meaning a test, a submitted project, presentation, something like that. Um, if we could get that on every syllabus, that would solve a huge number of problems because right now we have so many goals written down that sound wonderful, but we're really not teaching to them. Or faculty will say, well, we discussed that in class. Or I try to model that. And, or I've, I've heard faculty say, I think they pick it up by osmosis. <laughs> And the problem is, one of the things we know from a lot of the research that's been done in the last 20 years is students learn what they're graded on. And so unless you actually give students an assignment that, or something they have to study for a test, where they actually have to think about and apply what you're talking about in class, they don't focus their mental energies on it or their time. They will learn some things. You know, some students will be inspired by your modeling and, and things like that, but it won't really get across to everybody. So just another little idea that I'll throw out at you.